Hi everyone, welcome back to the Mouse channel. Thank you for tuning in. I did hesitate whether to post this vlog or not because obviously, you know, it's a bit of a sore subject. It was really sad on final day that we didn't win. But I thought I'd post this vlog anyway because, well, there's only so much content you can make anyway, isn't there? You have to kind of vlog when interesting things happen. There's quite a bit in this vlog and I just thought you might be interested anyway just to see what we did, just to see the decorations we made, the food as well and it might give you inspiration um, for a, a party for World Cup or something like that or just to as a diary basically to see what we've been up to. It was going to be part of a longer vlog but uh, because there was quite a bit in it I made a standalone vlog anyway um, and you know I'm for one I'm still really proud of the team and where uh, they came in the tournament and so yeah I wanted to honour that by continuing to post this vlog so thanks so much for watching and yeah enjoy it. Hi just picking the vlog back up from where we left off we still haven't done the 4th of July celebrations but we've got the football to celebrate now we did watch it the other night and we just enjoyed it so much when we got, we won the semi and got into the final we had a half time party <laughs> and we're going to do the same this time but uh, as it's the final we're going to be doing like a little buffet having the parents over me and the other half are going to make an England cake today and um, also got like some sausage rolls and things um, I'm not going to do a full vlog on the cake I'm just going to show you the ingredients and like roughly how we do it and we're going to decorate it with the England flag as well so it should be quite cool uh, so I'll take you through to the kitchen now and um, show you what ingredients I've got oh yeah and also before I start baking just show you these I've got some white cardboard cups here from Tesco and um, they were like a pound for 20 and then 50 plates again they were about a quid because uh, we couldn't find for love nor money any England plates they had a few on Amazon but they were really expensive and they wouldn't be delivered in time so we decided we were going to make our own so we've got these plain plates uh, for a fraction of the cost and then I also got this from Amazon it was 88p just some red tape so we're going to wrap these around the um, the cups later have a night in front of the telly doing this making um, England flags so we don't need many obviously on the cups and plates so yeah that's that done on the cheap right so here we've got all the ingredients for the cake we've got the butter um, the eggs and um, the sugar and the flour so they're all the main ingredients for the cake and then I've just got some of this uh, Tesco fondant icing for the white flag and some red fondant icing there for the St George's Cross and then of course just the cake tin and scales and a basin to work with so we're going to get all these ingredients the um, sugar flour egg and butter all mixed together in this bowl and then get it baked so we've got some baking powder and some milk in this recipe as well so I will put the recipe quantities and everything in the information box below Right, so I've shown you the ingredients on here, but I'm going to hand over to the other half now who's going to read out the uh, ingredients list. Okay, so for the main ingredients, you're going to need 200 grams of sugar, 200 grams of softened butter, 4 eggs beaten, 200 grams of self-raising flour, 1 tablespoon of baking powder, and 2 tablespoons of milk. Then for the icing, you're going to need 100 grams of butter, 140 grams of icing sugar, sifted, vanilla extract, and then half a jar of strawberry jam. Sill it bang that was, it went everywhere. <laughs> I told you that was gonna happen, didn't I? As soon as it bloody hits the thing, it goes, look at me absolutely covered in it. Bloody hell. They'd be going, I'm not listening to these two, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> look at these, I can't even make a cake, never mind any of them. It went everywhere, all over him, all over the kitchen and all. All over your passport, all over the walls, I've had some of it as well. 
Right, we're going to put it in these tins now. Right, we took the <laughs> recipe and made the right mess of the kitchen and now we're going to leave it. <laughs> Sign off. Good luck. <laughs> right. Right, I'm just going to put this in the tins now. Oh, God. Right, so I'm just going to put these to make the two halves of the, the cake, obviously. <clears throat> I can't stop laughing. Just flatten them out a bit. So we're just covering the, the bottom of the cake pans, aren't we? Yeah. Just to make the top and the bottom halves of the Victoria sponge. <laughs> and we're just watching the final of the ladies' women's final. Yeah, Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Okay, so once we've done that, we just need to get them ready to put into the oven. So you're going to need to heat your oven to 190 degrees C for a fan oven. Or if you've got a gas oven, it needs to be 170 degrees C. So the cakes are out of the oven. This is the finished result. And we're going to let them cool and then give them a bit of an icing. Right, it's the next day now. Um, the cake's out of the fridge. So we're going to do the fun bit, which is the icing and the filling. So we're going to start off with the ingredients for the filling. Okay, so we've got some icing sugar and some butter. That's just for the buttercream. And then also black cherry jam for the filling. So we're just going to make the buttercream now. To make the filling, then you beat in 100 grams of softened butter until the, it's smooth and creamy. And then gradually beat in 140 grams of sifted icing sugar. So I think that's about ready now. That looks about the right consistency. We all good? Yeah, I think okay. so. Excellent. There we go. So yeah, let's um so we're gonna put the filling on now. Um so put the buttercream on first, I think that's easier. So we've chosen this one for the base because it's the flattest cake, um, and that one for the top. So uh right, yeah, just like spin it on. Making it consistently all the way through so you've got the same depth. There we go. Finishing touches. <laughs> And then we've got some uh, Hartley's black cherry jam to just stick on, on this one. Oh, look at that. Do you want to do the honours? Can do. We'll just put it on top. Yeah. Yay! Look at that. <laughs> That looks well nice, doesn't it? Mm. <clears throat> so yeah, we made sure you check the recipe for your buttercream ratio because if it gets too thin, I did one once and the whole lot came out. Didn't there you nice go. Job there. Nice Keep job. Everything's nice and consistent. Right, so I'm gonna ice it now and do the really fun bit, which is putting the England flag on it. So I realise I've got no rolling pin here, so I'm gonna have to use a glass. Looks good. I've got to get it up off the worktop and over the um, cake without it tearing. I'm going to let you do the honours, Jay. <laughs> nice one. Hang on a minute, I've got a crease in it here. Right, we've finally got it draped over the cake and we're just going to trim around the edge now and just get rid of these little surplus bits around the side with a knife. There we go, are we all done? I think we're done. Okay, awesome. There we go. So we've discovered this is easier to just shape with your fingers because it's so sticky. So we've got our little um, part of the St George's Cross there. We're going to stick it on the cake now. Do you want to do it or...? Yeah, sure. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> it's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, babe. Nice. It's coming along nicely. Yeah. It's coming home. Football's coming home. There you go. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to just put these last stripes on now. Right, there we go. That's our England cake. That's All ready for cake. tonight. Can't wait to eat that. Looks delicious. Awesome. Right, we'll get the flags up then, shall we? Sounds good, right. Right, so we're in the living room now and it's time to put the decorations up. 
Um, so we've got these, they're from a few years ago actually, thank God, because um, you can't get them on Amazon for love nor money. So um, I think we're going to put them over there on that wall, just near the clock. So I think we're going to bring them to like a point up um, over the clock like that, because we've got two banners. There we go, there's our banners. It's looking really nice, Ooh, don't you? Look at that. Yeah, ready for tonight. Ready for the football. <laughs> nice. Right, so we've got our glitter curtains up. Has blocked the light a little bit, but I think they'll look cool tonight. We've got our mascot there. And we've got and the bunting up. Just gonna, yeah, I'll we'll put that on. And then um, I'm just gonna put this red throw on the sofa as well. Right, so we're gonna do the uh, cups and plates now with the England crosses. Uh, just about got the room sorted. So yeah, we're gonna start on that with the red masking tape. That's it, there we go. So we just put one red stripe all around, all the way around the middle of the cup. Now we're just gonna do one uh, vertical line all the way down the middle so we can get the St. George's cross on the cup. Well, at least we hope it's gonna be vertical. <laughs> <laughs> That's not looking too bad, Jay. It's looking pretty nice, isn't it? There we go. So there's an example for the cups <laughs> that we're making. I'll do a, um, one round the other side as well. Yeah. Just adds a little bit of Euro 2020 to our bit of pizzazz. festivities today. <laughs> bit of pizzazz to the buffy. That's right. And this is just a small gathering for us and you folks yeah we're really. not we're not having a massive we're not having um, a massive party or anything but we're just no. having it's private with our couple you know us as a couple and you, your parents coming around as well so that'd be nice won't it yeah do you want to do the plate there you go start off at the top <laughs> there we are yay <laughs> Okay guys, so I think I'm about ready for tonight now. Um, I'm just going to show you the finished room for the party. barbecue style food um, you know so we feel like we're at the stadium eating a hot dog or a burger so yeah just some regular beef burgers some sausages got some nice cobs as well uh, to put them in or rolls as they say in other places um, also got some potato salad from Tesco to have on the side and then I'm gonna do some crisps as well so yeah these are really good by the way you get is it 30 bags for about £2.50 in a variety pack? So they're definitely worth having. And then obviously I've got some caramel vanilla ice cream for pudding. That was only like 179 Obviously we've got the cake as well. And then for drinks, um, I picked up these. They're just bitter shandies. You got four for 99 pence. And the dandelion and burdock was just 50 pence a bottle. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be cooking later.
And I also got some sausage rolls just to bake in the oven as well. I've done myself some England nails but made a really bad job of them and chipped them as well but there they are. Right so this is my outfit. I've got a pink England shirt that um, we made by putting a badge on here and I'm just going to pick Jay up now and then we're going to start to cook. Roberto Mancini has kept things as they were for Italy with so much attention on the Centurions in defence. Leonardo Benici and Giorgio Chiellini have played in the Euros final before. 